Hello followers. I am going to be selling my Glinda wand. This is actually my second Glinda wand. I made the first one for Broadway Con and it was thrown together because I didn't have a lot of time to make that costume. I actually made Glinda and Alphaba in about three to three and a half weeks. So the wand was like the last piece. And it didn't turn out exactly how I liked, and it also, I had this ingenious uh, plan to make it telescoping so I could, it could be easy to carry around. And that was a total fail. It broke like the moment I went into the con. And it also just looked like crap, in my opinion. You know, sometimes when you're in a rush for a con, and you just throw something together, and it, you know, not everything is gonna be perfect. When I came back home a week or two later, I wanted to do a couple photos in my Glinda costume and that wand I had just trashed. I had picked a lot of the gems off of it to salvage it but half of it was broken. Um, it just sucked and I really wanted a wand for the photo shoot. So I stayed up one night and the night before I was doing the photo shoot and I made this wand and it's pretty good. It's still kind of crafty. It did take like four or five hours and it did take a lot of labor and materials. I don't want to say that it's perfect. Um, it's not something like if you commissioned me to make, I would be pristine with it. Again, it was made like the night before a photo shoot, although it took about five hours instead of one hour. And I think it looks a lot nicer than the old one. I just wanted to speak a little bit about it since it's one of my favorite props that I've created. And in the photos, I had a longer metal pipe that I would just stick this into and it would sit in there and then you could have a longer wand. But this one is only about this long for shipping purposes and just ease of transportation. What I did was I had a wand that my aunt gave me actually and I've been stashing it away because I knew it would be useful for something. And I decided to use that as a base. I cut these pieces out of foam and painted them. And then what I did was I covered them in this sequin fabric, which is actually from the first Ariel sparkling dress. It's just remnants from it. And that's just hot glue on there. And I kind of folded it around each of the edges. Not all of the edges are covered and it's not perfect, like I said, but it's still, I mean, it looks pretty good if you're not looking at it, you know, this close. I can even put it up to the camera and it looks pretty darn good there from close up. But again, it's not perfect. Um, it is built with, what I did was I attached wire into the wand here and hot glued it onto these foam pieces so these foam pieces would stick out and be slightly flexible. Um, but still pretty rigid. And then I covered that with some materials. Actually, I had some spare mirrors lying around. I had a whole bunch of these extra little things, so I just kind of glued those on to keep that wire down good. And then I glued more of the sequin fabric over the back so you couldn't really see what was going on underneath there. And again, that's not perfect either, but it does look pretty good in my opinion. On the front, Let me get this close up here. I had this trim. This is actually a discount trim. It's a very hard beaded trim. I salvaged this from my second Star Princess. And it's nice because it was economical and it's pretty shiny and there's beads and sequins. But it's very stiff. Very, very stiff. So using it in costumes... It would have to be hand sewn and also if you if you're using it for something delicate it's not really the best option but for props I found it worked perfectly for this so I put that on sides of these little things hanging out here and then what I did was I had cut these pieces out of um, that cuttable flexible mirror and then just glued gems on it but I didn't have time to like glue enough gems and it kind of just looked cheap and but I found with this sequin fabric uh, I didn't have to put as many gems and it looked like it was covered in sequins and gems 
So it's kind of an illusion. I glued mirrored pieces, which these things I use on the Star Princess crowns sometimes, and some rhinestones, and also I have a little bit of glass crystals in there. Those are kind of expensive. And then on the front, more hot glue, lots of hot glue. Um, I had, I had made like two or three Glenda crowns. I had a lot of spare findings, jewelry findings from that. So I used those. They're actually these, these floral kind of gem things. They're a circular piece that came from the jewelry section of Joann's. So I put one, two, you know, three, four. And then this front one is also another one of those circular pieces. And I filled in some of the gaps with these beads here and some rhinestones. And then the, this little circular thing that goes around it is an old bracelet that, actually it's not an old bracelet. Now I remember this came off of the straps of an evening gown that I wore in high school for like a DECA award ceremony or something. It was one of the straps and it was, I obviously don't fit into it anymore. So I cut the straps off because they were really pretty and they were glass crystal right there. And that's kind of just wrapped around and glued there. So all in all, it's what I wish I had at Broadway Con because it is so sparkly and beautiful. And it's one of those things that I wish I could keep. And I really want to keep. But as always, I need money. And I, I constantly need money. And it's just the artist's life. And if someone's willing to pay me, you know, what I think this is worth, even though it's not 100% perfect, I think it's okay with giving it up and giving it to a new home. Otherwise, it's just going to, you know, sit in my closet and sure, I can bring it out from time to time and, you know, enjoy it. But I think someone else would enjoy it a lot more. So I will be listing this for sale. I have to think on the price a little bit, but it will be discounted because it's not made perfectly. Uh, but it is a nice kind of thing, and I'm really proud of this one as a prop. Not just a prop, but something that's constructed well and looks amazing. Especially in movement. This came out great in photos, but oh, just the movement. I really love how much it glistens with all those mirrors and sequins and gems and crystals. It took me a while to put it up for sale because I did not have the back finished actually. So I just finished that today, adding the rest of the fabric on there because for the photo shoot, you know, you're not going to see the back, that's something you can hide. But it is all finished now and I was using it as a prop for a video I was recording which is why I just decided to grab it and film this real quick. That's the Glinda wand. So thank you for watching and supporting me.